For decades, scientists thought Dinopithecus was just another oversized baboon that peacefully roamed ancient Africa. But recent paleontological insights have completely shattered that image. New analysis reveals this massive primate, weighing up to 170 pounds, possessed prominent canines and crushing jaw power that set it apart from modern baboons. The real surprise fossil evidence now shows it was not just peacefully foraging for fruits and tubers like its modern relatives. This omnivorous giant had a taste for meat that included smaller primates and young ungulates in its diet. This was not your typical plant-focused primate. This was a formidable creature that made life no walk in the park for our earliest ancestors. And scientists are only now beginning to understand just how different it really was. The breakthrough came not from advanced technology, but from meticulous comparative analysis that revealed what traditional methods had missed. For decades, paleontologists looked at Dinopithecus fossils and saw what they expected to see, just another oversized baboon that happened to grow larger than its modern relatives. The classification seemed straightforward enough. These ancient primates shared basic skull features with contemporary baboons, so researchers naturally assumed they lived similar lifestyles, foraging for fruits, roots, and the occasional small animal. Traditional morphological comparisons relied on measuring bone dimensions and comparing tooth shapes methods that had served paleontology well for over a century. However, detailed morphological studies began revealing subtle but crucial differences that distinguished Dinopithecus from its modern relatives. Researchers examining fossil specimens noticed proportional variations in skull architecture that suggested something more specialized than a simple scaled up baboon. The temporal fenestri openings in the skull where jaw muscles attach appeared enlarged compared to modern baboons, indicating potentially more powerful musculature. Bone density analysis showed reinforced structures around jaw joints, suggesting these animals regularly generated significant bite pressures during feeding. Comparative morphology with living baboon species highlighted key anatomical divergences that had previously been overlooked. While modern baboons possess relatively gracile skull construction, suited for their omnivorous lifestyle, Dinopithecus exhibited robust cranial features more reminiscent of specialized feeders. The proportional relationships between different skull regions revealed adaptations that aligned more closely with animals requiring powerful jaw mechanics than with generalized omnivores. Isotopic analysis of fossil teeth provided additional insights into Dinopithecus' dietary patterns. While these studies confirmed an omnivorous diet, similar to modern baboons, they revealed variations in protein consumption that suggested different foraging strategies. The isotopic signatures indicated access to diverse food sources across ancient African landscapes, painting a picture of adaptable primates exploiting various ecological niches. Dental microware studies offered another window into Dinopithecus's feeding behavior. Examination of fossil teeth under high magnification revealed wear patterns consistent with processing both plant and animal materials, supporting the omnivorous lifestyle indicated by isotopic evidence. These microscopic signatures told stories of animals regularly consuming varied diets that included fruits, leaves, and occasional animal protein sources. The accumulating evidence forced paleontologists to reconsider Dinopithecus ecology within the broader context of ancient African ecosystems. Rather than viewing these primates as simple, scaled up versions of modern baboons, scientists began recognizing them as uniquely adapted creatures that occupied distinct ecological roles in prehistoric environments. The morphological specializations suggested evolutionary pressures that shape these animals into something quite different from their living relatives, setting the stage for understanding just how remarkable their anatomical adaptations truly were. The impressive canines of Dinopithecus tell a story of evolutionary scaling that took baboon anatomy to unprecedented extremes. While today's baboons flash their canines during aggressive displays or use them for occasional defense against predators, Dinopithecus developed these features to proportions that dwarf any living primate species. These fossil teeth 
reveal canines that were not only larger, but fundamentally more robust than anything seen in contemporary baboon populations, representing a scaled up version of typical Papian in dental architecture. The skull architecture supporting these formidable teeth shows massive enlargements in muscle attachment sites, particularly for the temporalis and masseter muscles responsible for jaw closure. These bony ridges and crests created anchor points for muscle masses far exceeding those found in modern papianins. The temporal fenestri, the skull openings where jaw muscles pass through were proportionally larger, accommodating the bulky musculature required to generate powerful bite forces. The entire cranial structure was reinforced to withstand the tremendous stresses generated during feeding on tough materials and occasional animal prey. The complete dental battery reflects this same pattern of robust scaling beyond modern baboon proportions. Beyond the impressive canines, Deinopithecus possessed premolars and molars that maintained the basic omnivorous design of Papianin teeth, but at dramatically increased size and robusticity. These teeth were built for processing a diverse diet that included fruits, tough plant materials, and animal protein sources. The enhanced size and strength of these dental elements allowed Dinopithecus to exploit food resources that would challenge smaller primates from hard nuts and fibrous vegetation to occasional meat consumption. Sexual dimorphism in canine size reveals that male Dinopithecus possess the largest teeth using their enhanced dentition for both feeding advantages and competition with other males. The size differences between male and female canines exceeded those seen in modern baboons, suggesting these teeth served dual roles in both dietary flexibility and social dominance within their species. This dimorphism would have been crucial for male-male contests over resources and mating opportunities. These anatomical adaptations created a primate uniquely equipped to exploit diverse food sources across ancient African landscapes. The fossil record documents something remarkable in primate evolution, a massive omnivore that took the typical baboon body plan and scaled it to dimensions that opened entirely new ecological opportunities. The robust build and powerful dentition of Dinopithecus represented a successful evolutionary experiment in primate gigantism one that would have significant implications for other species sharing their ancient environments. The sheer physical presence of these mega baboons would have made them formidable competitors for any creature attempting to access the same critical resources across the changing landscapes of prehistoric Africa. South African cave sites preserve evidence of a complex ecological drama between two intelligent species navigating the same challenging landscapes. The fossil assemblages from locations like Swartkrans and Sturkfontein reveal Dinopithecus and Australopithecus remains buried within identical geological layers dating back millions of years to when these ancient environments witnessed the coexistence of our ancestors and their formidable primate contemporaries. The bone arrangements and fossil distributions preserved in these cave deposits tell stories of shared habitats rather than systematic predation. Both species appear to have utilized similar woodland environments facing comparable environmental pressures as Africa's climate shifted during the Pleo-Pleistocene. The positioning of remains suggests these primates occupied overlapping territories, competing for access to the same critical resources that sustained life in increasingly challenging conditions. Cave environments provided essential water access and shelter during the arid Pleo-Pleistocene climates, making them valuable refuges for multiple species. As Africa's climate shifted toward drier conditions, these underground sanctuaries became crucial for survival. The cool protected spaces offered relief from harsh temperatures while reliable water sources provided hydration during extended drought periods. Any species accessing these prime locations held advantages over competitors forced to venture into less hospitable open landscapes. The distribution of Dinopithecus fossils closely matches the water-rich refugia 
where Australopithecus populations also concentrated during dry periods. Paleoecological evidence reveals these mega baboons inhabited key resource areas alongside early hominins, creating situations where both species competed for limited water and food sources. This habitat overlap meant both groups faced similar survival challenges, though their different physical adaptations allowed them to exploit resources in distinct ways. Competition likely intensified during periods of environmental stress when drought conditions made water sources increasingly scarce. The fossil record suggests both species concentrated around the same cave systems and water holes, creating potential conflicts over access to these life-sustaining resources. Dinopithecus groups with their superior size and robust build may have held advantages in direct confrontations over prime feeding and watering locations. The evidence from these cave sites documents intense competition where different evolutionary strategies were tested against the pressures of a changing environment. Dinopithecus relied on its impressive physical capabilities, massive size, powerful jaws and robust dentition to dominate resource, rich areas and intimidate competitors. Their specialized anatomy represented millions of years of evolutionary refinement toward physical dominance in African ecosystems. Yet the fossil record also reveals that raw physical power alone would not determine which species ultimately thrived in these ancient battlegrounds. The coexistence documented in these cave sites represents a critical moment in evolutionary history when different approaches to survival were about to be tested by forces that would reshape the entire trajectory of primate evolution in Africa. The extinction of Dinopithecus reveals how environmental pressures and adaptability ultimately determine survival in changing ecosystems. For thousands of years, these massive primates thrived across African landscapes through superior size, strength and robust anatomical adaptations that made them formidable competitors for resources. Their powerful jaws, prominent canines, and muscular builds allowed them to dominate prime territories and exploit diverse food sources with remarkable efficiency. The fossil record shows Dinopithecus maintained its ecological success across multiple geological periods, suggesting its physical advantages provided substantial evolutionary benefits in stable environments. However, biogeographical modeling reveals that large bodied species like Dinopithecus faced inherent vulnerabilities that smaller, more generalist species could avoid. Their substantial size requirements meant they needed extensive territories to support viable populations, limiting their geographical distribution compared to smaller primates. This restricted range made them particularly susceptible to habitat fragmentation and environmental changes that could isolate populations or eliminate critical resource areas. When climate shifts began altering African landscapes during the Pleo-Pleistocene, these limitations became increasingly problematic. Climate changes toward more open grasslands fundamentally altered the ecological dynamics that had sustained Dinopithecus populations. The expanding savannas reduced the woodland habitats where these mega baboons had evolved their successful foraging strategies while simultaneously creating new opportunities for more adaptable species. Open landscapes favored primates capable of exploiting diverse food sources across varied terrains, rather than those specialized for specific habitat types. The environmental shifts that characterized this period demanded behavioral flexibility that large specialized species struggled to develop quickly enough. The cognitive flexibility and behavioral adaptability of smaller primate species, including early hominins, enabled rapid responses to changing environmental conditions. Modern baboon studies demonstrate remarkable behavioral plasticity in response to habitat changes, suggesting that smaller, more generalist primates possessed advantages during periods of environmental instability. These species could modify their foraging strategies, adjust their social behaviors, and exploit new food sources with greater speed than their larger, more specialized relatives. When traditional resources became scarce or inaccessible, adaptable species could pivot to alternative survival strategies. Dinopithecus populations likely faced mounting pressures from multiple directions as African environments continued changing. 
Competition for diminishing woodland resources intensified as various species concentrated around remaining suitable habitats. Their specialized anatomy and behaviors, which had been evolutionary assets in stable environments, became limitations when rapid adaptation was necessary for survival. The same physical specializations that had made them successful in earlier periods could not be quickly modified to meet new environmental challenges. The disappearance of these impressive mega baboons demonstrates how even the most physically formidable species can succumb when environmental changes favor different survival strategies. Their extinction marked the end of an evolutionary experiment in primate gigantism, clearing ecological niches for species better equipped to handle the dynamic landscapes of prehistoric Africa. The legacy of Dinopithecus offers valuable insights into primate evolution and the factors that determine species survival across changing landscapes. This impressive example of primate gigantism demonstrates how physical specialization can provide evolutionary advantages in stable environments, yet become limitation when rapid adaptation is required. Their robust anatomy and substantial size requirements made them formidable competitors during favorable periods, but vulnerable to the habitat changes that characterized the Pleo-Pleistocene transition. The fossil record of these mega baboons help scientists understand biogeographical patterns and extinction dynamics among large bodied primates. Their disappearance illustrates how environmental pressures can eliminate even the most physically impressive species when ecological conditions shift beyond their adaptive gig capabilities. The next time you observe a baboon, consider that our ancestors once shared African landscapes with relatives that reached truly remarkable proportions, representing an evolutionary experiment in primate size that ultimately succumbed to the changing demands of prehistoric environments.